Hey, hey, assistant coach, Doggy Sports here. Hey there, buddy. Gray, you want to watch this episode? Yeah? He has those eyes that you want to see on, like, a horror movie on a shark. <laughs> when he does this, <laughs> it can be quite frightening. I mean, especially when he gets bigger. Holy moly, he's going absolutely crazy right now. <laughs> what a look. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Liverpool career mode. Yes, I know that's a different kind of intro than usual, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of you guys were saying that I should show a little bit more of the doggy. He will be in the episodes. Trust me, this guy is a loud one. He makes himself known when I'm recording my videos. But last episode, boys... The support was incredible. We had over 3,400 likes and on top of it, you see, that's what I'm talking about. And on top of it, uh, we were talking about a very important thing. And that important thing was, are you more of a viewer that likes to see a career mode go until you see a big trophy one like the Champions League? Or are you a type of viewer that likes to see a story unfold, a team develop, legends made? And it was a mix, it genuinely was a mix, but most of the people were like kinda in the middle. They wanna see trophies won, but they also wanna see the story while it's going on. So, apart, instead of just showing you guys like the gameplay, what I've been trying to do is, I've been trying to give you guys a storyline with this career mode. Last season the storyline was that Firmino carried us, he definitely carried us, and the youth takeover team has won the Carabao Cup. That was insane. That was the storyline of the last season. This season, we started off with a storyline of a lot of new players coming to the team. Uh, players like De Frey, Leno and Viana, and they had to prove themselves alongside with Kovacic. Kovacic and Viana came in with a bang. Those two have been incredible. De Frey has scored an insane long shot, which you would not expect from a center back. And Leno has been very solid at the back. Now, last episode, Verna also scored like four goals in one match, which was incredible. That was so unexpected. I did not think that could happen this early because I'm not used to him yet. I don't know what kind of runs he's making. I don't know how he plays, but now I'm kind of getting used to him and I'm really figuring out how to play with Verna in the team. So the story is unfolding and there was one comment that really was interesting um it was saying that i should be doing this career mode until the youth takeover team can win the premier league title on its own is that an interesting thing that you guys would watch because i mean yes we have a lot of talented players in here but are they able to win the premier league yet no um, that wouldn't be happening this season, definitely not. Um, first of all, I would have to win like the Champions League and the Premier League in a season. And then the season after that, I would just completely wipe out the first squad and concentrate on these youngsters that we are trying to make legends. Is that something that you guys would be interested in? Because I kind of found that idea very interesting. Instead of just stopping after winning all the titles, we could do like an extra season with these youngsters and it could be a lot of fun. So let me know in the top right corner if you would be interested in that idea. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Just let me know, please. Oh, this little boy is not that little anymore. Hey, 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 stop. Stop biting my mic. I mean, look at him. He is way too active right now. I cannot hold him. Also, guys, thank you for over 650 comments. I read through all of them. Genuinely, I read through every single comment yesterday. And I want to thank you guys for the support that you have shown down there. And also for the suggestions that you have made for the future of this career mode. All of that will be considered. But now... It's time for the Merseyside Derby. Everton against Liverpool. We had a great game. Now Werner is the top scorer in the league, which is lovely to see. And uh, we are going back up into the top four. And that is the main goal of this episode. I want to get back into at least the top five. Liverpool currently, after four games, only on seven points. That needs to be better. No worries. After this Merseyside Derby, we will go ahead and take a look at the top comments of the last episode, as always. But boys... Can we smash over 3,000 likes an episode, including the Merseyside Derby? That would be much appreciated. Coutinho and all the boys will be working quite hard to get us another victory. Right now, teams should be scared of Timo Werner's form. Let's see how he does in this episode. Can he continue the amount of goals that he has scored in the past few matches? 
in this big one, the big stage, Merseyside Derby. Now it's the time to become a legend. Okay, they have Sidibe, the Monaco right back that I really, really like. Hold on a second. Oh my god. I just gave away a penalty without me even controlling the player. Come on, man, EA. That's such a joke. I'm not even controlling this guy. Oh, how is that a penalty? It's De Frey again. He has now given away two penalties at the start of his career at Liverpool. And Sigurdsson is a very good penalty taker. Bottom left. Leno, yes, what a way to impress the Liverpool fans as the new goalkeeper of our club. Great job right there. After that one, the morale in the team should be quite high. That should give us a little boost that we know that we got away from that one. Coutinho now, over to Salah. Salah, cross it in, mate. Good cross. Timo Werner so far has scored the most ridiculous headers, but the most simple one? Nah, mate, he's not taking that. I think putting Emre Can into the squad was probably one of the best decisions we have made so far, assistant coaches, because he has brought so much stability into the midfield. It really helps us out to have a tank in there. And Emre Can is exactly that guy, and he has proven himself once again. And I'm looking forward to see how much he can grow in FIFA 18. I genuinely don't know. But I hope he can grow to like an 86. That'd be cool. Emre Can, good steal. The defensive work from Emre Can has been very impressive. Now, can he move forward and score one of those long shots again? He has been the long shot king of Liverpool. Holy shit. That is an insane goal. The best long shot I have so far scored on FIFA 18. Hey. Long shot ticket, tickets to long shot city to everyone. There you go, boys. There you go. Enjoy your ride. Take a look at this one again. Oh my god. That is such a beautiful goal in a Merseyside derby. Emre Can, man, he has re established himself into the starting lineup. Pickford tried his best, but he just couldn't get to it. The power behind that shot, the accuracy. Unbelievable goal. Mo Salah, Timo, Timo, back into Mane. Mane, good job, pass it, pass it. Vena still fights for it. Timo, unlucky there. Two defenders falling over each other. What the hell just happened? Come on, I should have had that one. Angel Correa. Sigurdsson, defense, you gotta work better. That was a terrible pass from me right into our opponent. Leno, though, with a crucial save once again. He has not disappointed so far, and I hope it stays that way. Coutinho, make your run. Coutinho, left foot it. Come on. Oh, man. A lot of players have scored with their weak foot already, and Coutinho was one of them where I expected that to 100% go in. We should have been up by 2-0 by now. Coutinho into Werner, Werner, nice moves, Werner, still going, stops, pass, Mane, come on, come on, are you joking, yes, <laughs> what kind of a terrible goal that is, the first goal, incredible long shot, second goal, <laughs> the worst goal ever, <laughs> yes boys, 2-0 up in the Merseyside derby. Pickford actually did really well there. Or my finishing was just terrible. I shot it right into him. But he has made two saves. And Mo Salah again in the right position. How many goals does he have already this season? I believe like four. Yes, he has scored four goals already. That is already half of what he scored in the last season. So that is great. Look at that. I mean, that's just insane. Van Dijk, what a tackle, man. I'm loving this. I'm genuinely enjoying defending for once. Tejas, good header. Mane, bring that ball into our team. It doesn't work out, but we do keep the clean sheet. 2-0 victory against Everton. Timo Werner did not score, but everyone else was doing a great job in this one. We can't expect him to score in every single game. But Emre Can's goal, man, that was an incredible one into the top left. I will remember that at the end of the season. 
definitely a goal of the season contender. I don't know what kind of a goal I have to score in order it to be better than this one. Maybe like a bicycle or scorpion kick because this long shot was the best so far. So we have just gotten the offer um, of Lalana fixed. It's 22.5 million and we are getting 19 million from it. But is he gone already? Because we are not in the transfer window. So I would have to know if Lalana is still in the squad. Yeah, he is still in there. Did we already get the money though? That would be weird if we already got the money for a deal that didn't really genuinely go through. Nah, we didn't. We have 64.95 million that will uh, not change probably until Alana has definitely left the team. But the transfer offer with him finally went through. Uh, first transfer that is going away from Liverpool this season because any other transfer, transfer talks were breaking down constantly consistently and now it's time for the youth takeover team boys a lot of you love this team including myself i'm really looking forward to see how this team will be playing this season now with zagadu in that center back position alongside gomez we'll have to see how this team does i'm really looking forward to see if woodburn finally will be scoring some goals for us he was my main talent that i really wanted to put a lot of emphasis on but he never really performed to a level where i was like okay i can finally get into the first team so now we'll be up against Bury in the round three of the Carabao Cup this Carabao Cup belongs to the youth takeover team they are the title holders and they will have to defend it right now against Bury okay now this is the first real match of the youth takeover team and I really hope I won't be disappointed if I drop out against a team like Bury or Bury I don't know how to pronounce the name I would be very disappointed and I'm really looking forward to see how good Ejaria actually has become. So let's see how this one goes. Hopefully a good one. A player debut for Zagadu. The 19 year old makes his debut for Liverpool now and hopefully it will be a good one for him as well. He looks like a 40 year old though. I mean look at that moustache. Come on boys. Plays the ball back. Gets it again. Ejaria running through. Ejaria still on it. He's still going. Oh, wow. That somehow was about to go in. What the hell just happened? <laughs> we got our first chance in without even realizing. Solanke, that's yours, mate. Whoa! <laughs> no way that just happened. Solanke does a bicycle kick into the new transfer Zagadu to score his first goal. I really hope that counts as an assist. What a start into the match. Look at this once again. Solanke goes forward, gets that one. It wouldn't have gone in, but Zagado with the perfect placement at the right time. It's the best debut that you can wish for. Ejaria down into Brannigan. Brannigan always with a good touch on him, I want to say. Gomez gets the ball, pushes forward now. Joe Gomez stops. While the doggy is having a bad dream. Can you hear it? <laughs> He's having a nightmare, boys. Poor little guy. Nightmare. Ejaria! That's not a nightmare. That's a really good goal in a 26th minute. We score again. Another long shot. The goals in this episode are unbelievable. Ejaria. His face was so shiny there. That was very impressive. Did you guys just see that? 2-0 <laughs> up, 27th minute. The captain puts us ahead by one more goal. And of course, we are going to be taking a look at this one. Look at this. Number 77. What a strike from Ejaria. I love this kit. I really am looking forward to see if he actually makes it into the Liverpool team in the future. I have seen him play the last time against Manchester United. Uh, the under 23s and he was actually playing really well Kent come on Kent you have a good shot on you that's Ejaria that's it oh unlucky he tried Solanke fighting off one player can he play that pass into Woodburn yes he can Woodburn get in there son you're yet to score a goal Ben Woodburn unlucky 50th minute it should have been 3-0 there a bit more curve on his stats and he scores that one. Solanke. Good strength. Ejaria. Go through mate. Stop. Ejaria. 
He is doing it again. He has done it again. He has done it again and again and again. This guy does not stop. Why is he so good? Someone needs to explain this to me. He was insane when he was like 66 rated. And he is even better now when he's 72 rated. Players like this one. I freaking love it when players surprise me. And they are just amazing without a reason. I mean, he panned the opponent right there and scored a goal. What else does this guy have to do? He deserves a chance in the first team in the future, man. But right now, there's just too much competition and I cannot risk it. But man, I love him. In the 66th minute, I will be making some changes. I am genuinely disappointed with uh, Woodburn so far. Ojo gets his chance. He was out on loan. And now this is his first time playing for me in the Youth Academy team. 84 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. A, a decent amount of strength, I mean, for a 71 rated youngster. 78 dribbling, 72 short passing. Uh, four star weak foot, three star skills. Left footed. Let's keep that in mind. And ODG now gets his chance in the attack as well. And you know what? Let's give another chance to Chamberlain down the right. Ooh, that's a yellow card for Zagadu. I think he just injured someone. But you know what? I have nothing against the center back who is rough. I want to see my uh, center backs being aggressive. And that's the type of player I like in that position. So it's nice to see Zagadu doesn't give a shit. Ran again, not getting to the ball. Grujic does get it though. We pass it into the attack right now. In the 90th minute, we are looking to get one more goal in. And that one more goal, I wanted to pass it over to Ejaria. It would have been nice to see him score another one. A hat-trick from a youngster, man. I don't think we have seen that so far. But that was an amazing game. I really enjoy playing with this youth takeover team, boys. And I hope you guys are enjoying watching it as well. Because it's... It's an emotional connection, you know? It's not just like, oh, we have amazing players, we score goals and we win titles. No, we have these youngsters that have been here from the start and they are now growing to be stars in our team. And Zagadu, first game, first goal for a center back. Hey, I have nothing against that. That's a great performance from him. And defensively, he was very solid. So after the match against Everton, we got into the sixth position. We are now on 10 points, which is nice to see. Manchester United is in the first spot. <sighs> five games, five victories, seven on the goal difference. Only one goal conceded. 15 points for Manchester United, who look to be the strongest team of the season so far. But you know what? I'm not gonna make you guys wait. We have two matches in this episode, which is the normal number that I always have. But today, we will have three. It's time to beat Manchester United. The first team to beat them needs to be Liverpool. I really hope that you guys are ready for this. Everton Merseyside derby and Manchester United rivalry in one episode. Now the momentum that we have going in the team right now, I didn't want to break it up. I wanted to continue with the good way that we have been playing and finally beat Manchester United and tell everyone in the league you can beat them. Don't be scared. And then they will help us to get past them in the future. So this is probably the biggest match so far. 100% the biggest match so far that we had. The first team obviously has to step up big time. I mean, obviously you have some great players in there with Smalling, Bailly, Fellaini, Mkhitaryan, Martial, Mata and Lukaku in the starting lineup. But I haven't seen anyone that really is new or anything. Pogba isn't even playing, I think. So, how is this team so good? I mean, would you think that this team right here is that good? I'm not seeing, like, anyone new in here. So, it's surprising to see that United managed to be in that first position with no goals conceded for such a long time until the last game where they conceded one, I think. So, I'm quite intrigued. Maybe their tactical gameplay is really good. We'll have to see. I mean, nothing against the team that is there already. It's a really good team. But I expected that they bought someone or that something changed in their team. That they have started off that well into the season. Musala now on the corner. Van Dijk will probably run right in here. Or we get it over to Tejas. De Vrij has scored a long shot in the last few episodes. And he could have done it again. 
This guy has a really good shot on him. Make your run, Salah. Timo Werner now could be running past Bailly, but there is De Gea coming out. At least we kicked him in his stomach there. I'd like to see the aggressiveness in this game. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Lukaku turned to his left foot. He's going through. Leno. Wow. He didn't actually parry that one. He just saved it and held on to it. Great job. I thought I was about to concede there. Matic. We're getting past him easily there. Mo Salah. Come on, pass it through, into Werner, over to Mane, oh no, I was aiming into the top left, he shoots into the bottom right, maybe I wasn't aiming right, that should have been a goal, quite quality passing play there, counter attacks are working good against this United team so far, Martial, good cross, Mkhitaryan header, man, this game is so well balanced out, both teams getting loads of attacks in, Emre Can, good, into Mane, come on ref, let me finish the attack, first half is done, it's 0-0 and as you can tell it has been quite a tough match, I think both teams have been quite balanced, yeah, we have been the better team, yes, but United I think had the better chances. Coutinho does see the run of Werner, Werner now through, stop, get in there, finish it, left foot, yes! Timo Werner on the big stage. Come on! Against Manchester United in the 54th minute. We are taking the lead with Timo Werner making the perfect run once again. And Coutinho plays that pass into him multiple times already in this season. And that is a perfect finish with your left foot. I knew when I stopped right there the defender will keep on going. And we used his momentum to get away from him. And slot it past the 91 rated De Gea was actually doing a great job right there, but it was quite impossible to stop this guy, the top scorer of the Premier League. Seven goals now. Oh, come on, ref. Is that really a free kick? Ooh, Pogba now got stepped into the game. This could be quite an interesting one, lads. Emre Can, okay. Pogba now in the game. Hmm, I don't know about this one, so he's still in this team. Oh, no. Lukaku, Leno, perfect timing on that one. He has been nothing but great so far. Here goes Timo Werner though, abusing his pace against Smalling. Can he get the ball off Darmian? Yes, he does. And it should have, could have been a foul. I mean, should I say it should have been a foul? It could have been a foul. Werner gets it back again. He's fighting, man. Let's bring it over. Salah, Coutinho. Ah, oh, unlucky. Good defense from uh, Manchester United. Now they are bringing on Ander Herrera. Herrera and Pogba got subbed in into this game right now from their team. And now it's time for us to bring in our big guns. David Bay. You know what? Coutinho is playing really well so far. I will be subbing in Keita for Kovacic. Like for like right there. And then um, Chamberlain or Origi. You know what? I'll try Origi down the right this time. Yes! No, 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 Romelu Lukaku, perfect positioning. Ah, oh, man, all these substitutes have made the difference for their team. Is that Lukaku or was that Bailly? Hold on a second. That was Bailly? A centre back. Oh, he just put it through the legs of Leno. What a lucky guy. Now, I'm, I'm going all out attacking. I don't even care. I want to get this victory. It's a victory or nothing for me right now. Emre? Origi, come on, Origi. Come on, Origi. Pogba, I hate you. Come on, one more attack. Give me one more attack, please. Not for United. Man, I can't believe I couldn't hold on to that lead. What a disgrace. I'm so freaking disappointed, man. Yes, I have given them their first draw of the season. Woohoo, great. <sighs> Triggered. Triggered. I wanted to win this one so bad. It was a very well balanced out game. I mean, if you look at the statistics, a draw is the right thing. But <coughs> I think I could have done better. 
I could have done a lot better there. All right, now let's get into the top comments of the last episode. Sorry that you guys had to wait this long for the top comments to come in. I completely forgot them at the start. Pedro Mussinho says, uh, give Alex Teres the number 13. I'm a Porto fan and in an interview, he said it was his lucky number and made him play better. Plus the guy who is using 13 is a right wing. So uh, number 18 would fit him better. Basically a number swap. That comment had over 307 likes on it. Interesting to see how much you guys actually do care about these numbers and all of that stuff so i will just go ahead click on to where is he alex tayes and we will change his kit number to 13 and ryan ken gets 18 i think that's okay and then the most important comment of the last episode from 100 subs challenge he has six subscribers says can you check origi's contract as it may be in his last year like so johnny can't see um i did see your comment buddy and it's a really good one it's a really really good one because i might have forgotten about this i don't want to keep bogdan i don't want to keep flanagan randall but woodburn origi um ojo emre Jan, they all are getting a new contract right now so emre Jan's contract will be five years no release clause 145k on his wages i will accept that and then moving on to Origi, let's see what he wants. We will delegate a renewal. He accepts five years, 145k, accept it. And then over to Woodburn, let's see what he says. I don't think he wants that much money, but we'll be offering him 70k. He accepts that straight away. I think I'm doing something wrong here because everyone is ex accepting the lowest amount that I'm offering. I should probably offer a lower amount. I might be making a big mistake right here, but I want to keep Woodburn for sure. So with Ojo, I will try that. I will go to Delegate Renewal and um, I will try to edit this one. It said 60k. I will be starting off with 40k. Hello? Hello? Yeah, 40. Hello? Hold on a second. What? Is it working if I do the... Hold on. Why does this not... Okay, game. Okay, yay. You really want me to negotiate in here. All right, then. So for his wages, I'll offer him 40k this time around. Instead of the 60k that I could have offered. And now he accepts 34.5k with 440 pound, uh, 440,000 pounds as a signing bonus. So we did learn something today. If you do go ahead and delegate a renewal... You are offering way too much at the start. So definitely adjust that in the future, boys. I don't think ODG deserved a 145k contract. And I don't think Woodburn wanted 70k or even he dreamed of 70k. I don't think so. So I have made my mistake. I have learned from it. That's the way it goes. Okay, so since we did not win against Manchester United, we couldn't get into the top five in this episode. We have to put that objective into the next episode. Now Spurs is up there. They have five victories and a draw. The same amount of points as Manchester United and basically the same record. But Spurs has now become the top scoring team in the Premier League. So Harry Kane probably started scoring a load of goals right now. And that is nice to see. I want to see big competition going on in this season. Next episode, we'll be back with a Champions League football. Eriksen, player of the month. I guess he is the main man right now. I would have wished for Werner to get that one. I think if we would have won against Manchester United, Werner could have been the player of the month. So, ah. Uh, Hopefully another month that will be working out for him. But this has been an insane episode. Ridiculous goals in this one, boys. Sadly, no victory against Manchester United, which gives us a little bit of a grain of salt. But uh, thank you so much for watching this one. Have a good one, boys. See you on the next episode. Don't forget to vote in the top right corner. Take care. Peace.